Coyote 2003 is brought to you in part by Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. From wildlife to wild rides. Super Telecom. Save your money. Don't give it away. El Dorado Furniture. Singular Wireless. And Wendy's. It's time for one of Miami's marquee events. The largest celebration of Hispanic culture in the United States. Cayocho 2003. Now, here are your hosts, Lori Jennings and Craig Stephen. And you are looking live at South Florida's Fiesta. Food, drink, music, and mayhem. Only the good kind of mayhem, though. Welcome to Little Havana and the world's largest street party, Cayocho 2003, from the corner of 22nd Avenue and 8th Street. Hey, everybody, glad you're here with us. I'm Craig Steve. And I'm Lori Jennings. Thanks for choosing us to share this great celebration with. And trust us, this is like no other 8th Street celebration because this is the 25th year, if you can believe, of Cayocho. And you can feel the excitement. Something that started as a little block party is now. Now, this, and we're going to talk a lot about that. Want to get started right now? Brian Andrews is down on the street for us with some of the fun, and I see you've already started to eat there, Brian. Yes, I've started to eat. They say I gained a little more masa going up and down Coyote today. This is a typical dish here. Oops, I dropped a little. I'll have to get to that later. This is paella. They have the world's largest paella. We'll show you that a little later on in the show, but all kinds of food. Peruvian food, Cuban food, Colombian food. We've seen it all. Matter of fact, they've even got some other stuff right here, which I'm going to be nibbling on during the show. We have the world-famous arepa. They're all over the place. There is no way you will go hungry if you came down to <laughs> keep dropping the food. If you came down to Cayocho today, but we're going to tell you what's on the what's on the menu coming up a little later on in the show. That's it for now. Back up to you. Just try not to drop all of it, Brian, and save us some. All right, thanks much. So, of course, the day is about food, and it's also about music. Oh, I hear it. I think you can hear it. Yeah, the salsa beat is going, and Rush Lowe is just up the street a few blocks from us, live on 17th Street, to tell us a little bit about what he's found during the day. Rush. Lori, first off here, I don't dance that well, but several times today I was brought out into this audience here, and and I kind of learned how to dance, actually. A live look na now at the uh, audience that is watching the band on stage. This is Oscar De Leon. The crowds have been growing larger all day. Now, we have for you the entertainment of this day from beginning to end. It is not just this stage, several stages all across Southwest 8th Street. So stay tuned for that. Some music, some dancing. You'll even get a look at me dancing as well. So back up to you. Guys. I was just going to say, I want to see Rosh Lowe out there trying to dance. Okay, that'll be a treat. <laughs> We'll look forward to it. Okay, Rosh. Well, we talk about this being the 25th anniversary of Coyote, and it really is mind-boggling to believe this started as a small block party, and look at what it's become all these years later. Oh, yeah. It was literally just a couple of blocks. Now it's 23, 24 right. blocks. It's just incredible. And it, it turned into really an international event. People travel from far and wide for this long week. And 7th San Fernandez is live with us with all the people who make up the day. Diane. Kyoto is a huge celebration of what we are in South Florida, a huge melting pot of cultures. Take a look here. Each of these people from a different place in the world, each and every one of them here to celebrate who they are and where they're from. All of them enjoying this huge block party that is a celebration of South Florida culture. I'll be back with that. Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo, Mexico, Mexico, USA. It's a celebration of who we are and where we're from. 25 years ago, Calle Ocho began as a small block party. Today, it attracts more than a million strong. And it's the people that make Calle Ocho what it is. Each of them from a different country. And different cultures. Proud to be Puerto Rican. I like coming here and just like expressing my nationality. For one day a year, all of them getting together for one big fiesta. No doubt about it, Miami is quite the melting pot and Calle Ocho is living proof of that every year. Where are you from, sir? Panama. Cuba. Where are you from? Panama. Colombia. People from all different countries and walks of life all here having one good time. It's the best of what Miami has to offer, young and old together relishing in their own ethnic pride. Mexico, Mexico. It's not only Cayocho, it's not only Miami, it's all over the Latino community in the United States. All country together, all nationality, all Spanish nationality together. We are just one person. All these people 
people, all these cultures coming together here tonight to celebrate what is South Florida as one big, huge community. Now, look at these people. Each and every one of them will tell you that they are here celebrating who they are, but they are also celebrating what we are as a community. Back to you guys. It is a huge international event, and it's all the brainchild of the Little Havana Kiwanis Club. It dates back to 1978. And when they came up with this whole idea, the idea was to share the Cuban culture with the South Florida community, folks who might not be familiar with it. Well, you know this, we know this, uh, this has succeeded wildly beyond pretty much everybody's expectations. <laughs> In 1978, the Kiwanis Club of Little Havana decided to extend a warm welcome to all. Their idea, to share the Cuban-American culture with anybody who would sample it. They threw a block party. Well, they figured maybe a few thousand would show. A hundred thousand people turned out. It was originally called Open House 8, but the Spanish nickname caught on. Thus, the term Cayocho was born. By 1985, they reached another milestone. They surpassed the one million mark in attendance. 1988 brought the world's largest conga line, led by Miami's own Gloria Estefan, with 119,000 people in tow. 1990, the biggest piñata was unveiled. 96, the Kiwanis Club canceled the event out of respect for the Brothers to the Rescue flyers shot down that February. But now the party extends 23 blocks on Cayocho from 4th to 27th Avenue. More than a million people are expected. This year, the festival promises to be bigger and better than ever. And we're here to say we have proof. It really does get bigger and better every year. Sure does. I think my waistline does too every year I come I and I eat more. But you that's can't another, help it. <laughs> that's another story. We are just getting started. A lot more from Kyojo 2003, the heart of Little Havana. Stay right there with us. We'll be back with more right after this. Get ready to salsa, South Florida. And we're not talking about food. We're talking about getting down grande. It's the music that makes Cayocho move. Plus, His Royal Highness. He's been entertaining for more than 20 years, and he's recorded more than 60 albums. Now, meet the King of Carnival, Oscar de Leon. Welcome back, everybody, to 8th Street, Cayocho 2003. Glad to have you along with us. Sit back and enjoy the afternoon here. Well, as is the case every year, we are enjoying some blockbuster entertainment this time around. There are hundreds, literally hundreds of performers stretched all along these blocks of Calle Ocho. They've traveled from far and wide just to be here for this day. And our own Rosh Lowe has had a front row seat for most of it. Rosh, take it La away. Lori, there's been some great music today, but you should have seen the dancing in the street. I learned a, a couple of moves today. Take a live look at the stage right now. That's Oscar de Leon. And you can see the crowd here that has gathered. The crowd here has been packed pretty much the entire day. We're not talking about just one stage either. We're talking about stages up and down Southwest 8th Street. Here is a look at the day. Calle Ocho, the entertainment. Singing, dancing. Salsa. Stages up and down H Street. Having fun? Dancing in the streets. And now a view from the stage. Check out the amount of people here as they enjoy the afternoon. So music, fun, 
dancing, singing, people of all ages crowding Southwest H Street and enjoying Calle Ocho. A live look right now, we got Skyforce with our pictures of us here up on the uh, truck. You can check out the audience again as they are enjoying Oscar De Leon there, enjoying him for at least the next 45 minutes. This is really the main attraction today, people coming out wanting to see Oscar De Leon perform. But as you saw today, a lot of dancing out here. And what do you think of my moves? I thought they were pretty okay. Didn't you? I gotta say, I'm Ooh. impressed. Rush Lowe's got it going on down there. Pretty good, pretty good. We'll give you more time to practice before the next hit, though. And we'll want to see more, Rush. Well, every year, uh, Coyote makes it a tradition of honoring certain performers. There's either a king or a queen, and from John Sakata to Gloria, Steph on the list reads like a who's who in Latin music. Calle Ocho's Carnaval Miami is a spectacular event, attracting the top talent from around the world. In 1982, the festival crowned its first king, the one and only Desi Arnaz. Throughout the years, such stars as Olga Guillot, Celia Cruz, Jose Feliciano, Rocio Jurado, and Johnny Ventura have graced Carnaval. Hometown singing sensation Gloria Estefan electrified the crowds in 1988, turning them on to her international hit, Conga. Since then, film star Maria Conchita Alonso, Emmanuel, Cheyenne, Ricardo Montaner, Willie Chirino, South Florida's own John Sakata, Jerry Rivera, and Talia have also reigned over this festival. In 1998, Latin singing sensation Olga Tanyong. In 1999, the man known to millions of fans as El Puma, Jose Luis Rodriguez. In 2000, the first king of the new millennium, actor turned singer Carlos Ponce. Last year, the Prince of Merengue, Elvis Crespo, became king of Carnival 2001. The queen for 2002, Giselle. And the reigning king for 2003, the voice of Venezuela, Oscar de Leon. As always, the king and queen personify Carnival, the spirit of Calle Ocho. And we're going to have a lot more on Oscar de Leon in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us for more of Calle Ocho 2003. Hungry in Little Havana. What would Cayocho be without food? Glorious food. Get ready, South Florida, for Must Eat TV. Also, long live the king. Just who is Oscar de Leon? We sit down to speak with his royal highness. today I would think would have to be a career highlight. Yeah, after 31 years in showbiz, building a great reputation for contemporary salsa, he is it. Here's Belkis Ray with the Grammy-nominated artist who knows it's good to be king. His salsa music is distinct. For 30 years, Oscar de Leon has been making beautiful music. The Venezuelan-born musician has never had any formal musical training, but now he's training to be royalty. My reaction was pure joy. Happy about being the king of the carnival. I was hoping for this for a very long time, but this year I was very surprised. The Grammy-nominated artist has recorded nearly 70 records and sang with the likes of Tito Puente and former Carnival queen Celia Cruz. He just released his latest album, Infinito. In fact, De Leon has traveled the world entertaining millions, but in the back of his mind, he's always concerned about the turmoil in his native Venezuela. I get emotional about my homeland that there will be peace, and I think I am an instrument of peace. Oscar is in his 60s, but still singing strong, and he says he's happy he still has fans that love him. I feel a lot more powerful now. I see that the public still applauds me and shows me a lot of support, which is very satisfying. 
and now that you've met the man, it's time to see him in action. Yes, he is center stage right now on the WSVN 107.5 Amore stage. So let's listen. <laughs> Uh, the party continues, and so will our special right after this. Sink your teeth into this. It's television with taste. What would Cayocho be without all that fabulous food? We'll show you what's cooking at Carnival. De Leon here at the world's biggest block party. You still have a whole hour to get down here and enjoy the festivities. So bring your dancing shoes and your appetite. More importantly, the appetite, because there is plenty to eat here. If you're a little bit of a picky eater, don't worry about it. There's something here for everybody. Brian Andrews, I think, is single-handedly trying everything out there, right, Brian? I'm, I'm trying, correct. You know, I've never seen you in a guayabera before. You've probably never seen me in a cumbinero sobrero. But nonetheless, you needed a hat today to keep the sun out of your eyes so you could see all the food. Here's just a sampling of what we picked up in the last few minutes. And as I uh, start to nibble on this pastelito, well, take a look at what we found. of all flavors. Dozens of dishes representing the diversity of Calle Ocho. My favorite is the rice. You like With the rice? shrimp, it brings ham, it brings eggs, it brings everything. Sizzling, mouth-watering, tasty plates for every palate. You look like you've been cooking this all day. The best part is to make it, the meat inside of the little stick. Ah. That's the best part, because look at how one here, two here, better than yourself. All right, so tell us what all the Puerto Ricans are eating out here today at Calle Ocho. Puerto Ricans are eating mumu and barbecue snoots and turkey legs. Which one's your favorite? My favorite, personally, I like the snoot. Food to fill your stomach. This type of paella can feed around five, between 500 and 600 people. Donde esta eh, arroz con coco? Arroz con coco is in Barranquilla. Barranquilla. This is from Cuba. Uh, raw rind, uh, chicken, uh, masita, steak pork, everything. Good, good food. Thousands of people eating their way from one end of Calle Ocho to the other. ¿Qué es aquí? Es carne de ternera o vaca chiquita. Everybody said. What is your favorite food that you've seen out here on Calle Ocho today? This one? This one right here? Mm -hmm. The chicharron. Chicharron. <laughs> Give that lady a hand. I tell you, that lady was cooking up a storm in there. And uh, by the way, the pastelito is gone. I devoured it in the last 90 seconds. And now I'm going to start on the, um, what do they call this again? The paella, the seafood paella. So again, plenty of food for plenty of pallets out here at Calle Ocho. That's it from here, back upstairs to you. And by the end of the day, there'll be plenty of Brian, I think, after all that eating. <laughs> from the food to the fun, they're still having a good time on the WSBN Amore 107.5 stage. Yes, with our king of carnival is our king of salsa now. Seven Low. <laughs> well, Lori, one last look here at Oscar de Leon, the king of, of salsa. You can see the crowd that he is attracting here. People have been waiting the entire day to see Oscar de Leon. But I have to tell you, the turnout's been great the entire day here as well. Stage is up and down Southwest 8th Street. People dancing in the streets, giving each other lessons, giving myself lessons. Quite a fun day out here. Back up to you guys. 
All right, Rock. Well, we're glad you learned how to salsa. Welcome to Miami. It looked good out there. It looked real good out there. Hard to believe it. But I think that wraps it up for uh, our coverage of the 25th anniversary of Coyote. Coyote 2003. Our thanks to everybody who helped put it all together for us today. I'm Craig Stevens. And I'm Lori Jennings. We also want to congratulate the Kiwanis Club on 25 years of putting the world's biggest block party together. And they do it beautifully. I can smell something good that's calling Let's us go over eat. there. All right. <laughs> thanks great. for being with us, everybody. Good Stay night. tuned for the news. Good night. Yocho 2003 has been brought to you in part by Bush Gardens Tampa Bay from wildlife to wild rides by Super Telecom save your money don't give it away by Eldorado Furniture by Sinkin' or Wireless and by Wendy's <laughs>